11 and 0 right now, but I'm gonna simulate the, the rest of the regular season. See what happens. So I could play him in the division seven and four, so I get a four game lead and probably beat him head to head at least once. One speed, that's good. And spin moving Duke, I think. Not any speed now. Plus two is good. 93 speed, 99 man covers now. And on the other side is dig, so it's good. Probably should have a power rush. Won't hurt. Plus two man press. hit power, that's not fair. Plus one power move. I was trying to look at his hit power, I should press the A, I press the B or circle. Sure, if we uh, if we miss the playoffs, or well, it was 14 and 3, so he just didn't have to the wild card week. And now it's real cox got a breakout game. That's good. I, I use I use him a lot, and I think he's still a bronze development, but his uh, he's uh, he's a good speed and stuff, he's a good player already, even though his overall went super high. So if he starts to go up, that'll be nice. And he might, might be able to sign a contract next season. Um, before that happens, I'm not gonna worry about Braden's upgrade. Everyone supporting him. Everybody but the corners. I don't think you can for the corners. But I wouldn't anyway. Saints. I know we've played them twice, but I think I've actually played at least one of the games against them. I'm gonna try a different playbook. I was wanting to do this anyway. Uh, oh yeah, I'm look. I look for a doll. It's Miami. Okay. Off 
offense on Chip Manor is going to stay with the Saints. I feel like they had a different. It's like the white jerseys, but I thought they had like the. Maybe that's it, or the 2000s one. That one looks weird. Tonight, from Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia, it's the NFC Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. Who will watch the fourth and final ticket to the, 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 ticket to the conference championship him. round? We'll know soon enough as we are underway here Best on a January teams. afternoon. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards right shy now. of the 30. The program you have to use for some games uses a PlayStation controller, but it, for games that already let it use it, it'll interfere with it. I didn't notice it during the menus for some reason. Usually it'll like be trying to look um, one over maybe like three or four. And he couldn't even get going moving the football. And you see Lamb wide open in the playoffs. Off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A big play there on the catch and run. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And some room to work. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown Atlanta. Raheem Mostert. 38 yards, and the Falcons are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Let me simulate the other uh, kick. now on first down. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath, maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball. But you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out. Oh, he just shoot the show. I had his, oh, he, he's technically still a sack. Everson Griffin. Everson Griffin got it. They usually sub him out, but that's fine. I don't know if they record the playoff stats anyway. But I'm probably still going to make speed boost. <laughs> probably going to play Irvin and Gross Matos inside and then change the linebackers. I got to look at that formation. They'll run on first down. Best. Oh, oh, best got a touchdown now. This is 90 speed now. I was watching some YouTube videos about defenses and stuff. And the Madden one shot YouTube channel had one about uh, Big Nickel over Gene 
Dolphins here. The Giants playbook. And uh, so I'm going to try it out. But I need to mess with the subs. I'm probably not going to run it right anyway. Because exactly, I didn't watch it that close. I'm going to mess with it. Stevenson elects not to return it. It's I've definitely attack. played against Trey Lance already. I hope it's not. New Orleans honest. Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They trail here early in this oh, yeah. division it's round game as they the seek a spot in the NFC title bout. First and ten. Here's Scott Lance. Auto pick. This wasn't the right play. Yeah, and this will be he took off immediately. He gets it to the third. Did like two step drop. And just took off from that time, and I thought they were gonna get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. And Lance's throw pulled in. Said he could play the underneath thing, and he'll be out of bounds across the third flats. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. They'll run for the first they snap it so fast it's hard to move Blair. both of the people and into the line. The and, uh, like against the player though, like if I won't do that. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and ten. Here's Lance. Steps away. It's <laughs> like. He's got to run faster than that to get away from Parsons. He just looked like he's... <laughs> and while he did a good job of sliding around in the pocket, there was nowhere to go with the football, so he had to take off and try and run. He just got back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. Throwing again on second down. Lance. And the Falcons get there. The Irving with the sack. That's good. The sack. Down he goes. He's the like player that needs him. Three on the sack, and it brings up third down. Here's Lance to throw it. <laughs> he's just he's taking off every time. <laughs> the Saints fans would be so pissed. Yardage. They get to the playoffs. And their quarterback, as soon as they snap the ball, is just walking. He's not even running half of the play. And then on defense, they've given up two rushing touchdowns in two plays. On first down, best. And he is brought down at the 22 after a I believe in the best even though he's got second down. That's like a 60 overall. Here's second and eight. Probably have a cheap contract too. Burrow looking seasons. to pass. Oh, oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's so incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Play action. It's Burrow. That was great. It's going. It's not going. But it's going. It's going. Third is short. Thirty forty. A big play that time on the catch and run. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the fifty now as they come up first and ten, and they'll run on the inside handoff. Got a hundred yard game. Hundred and two. Three yard. Three three carries. A hundred yards. Second year running back. I think. Maybe a first year running back. Might be his, I think he's a first year running back. First playoff game now for sure. On first down. And inside the 20 before yeah, this, I've only done one rookie draft, so yeah, he's so a from rookie the 17 running back. Now, here's a first and 10. CD Lamb. Kadarius Tony and Devontae Smith too. From the red zone now, they'll so look got to this. That was a bad throw. I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there. I saw him. I thought he got the ball way on the other side. He's probably tired. Went to him a bunch of times. Look elsewhere and find an open target. The coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. You heard the commentators say that they're passing. He does have the first down. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Burrow throw. 
Looking in zone, but it's that was over there. Down this close to the goal line. First down. Finger. Surprised that so wasn't a run. I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. On second and goal, Burrow. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. They warned me in the player screen. Jeffrey so Simmons just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Let's see. No. <clears throat> this might work. I think they might. Third and goal, Burrow. Yeah. I don't know how I'm getting away with throwing those passes. They really had a good drive. That worked out perfect. Nice no. recovery by the defense. Let's see this and make it a three-score game. On first down, Lance. He's gonna run again. Escaping the pressure right. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line. The Lance gonna throw. Now a swing pass, it's Edwards Alaire. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 17 0, our score after one. First and ten, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Throwing now is Lance. Dancing to his left. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Lance looking to throw it. Now bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. Irvin's got one and a half sacks. And I think a full well, lucky now. there. Able to I don't know if he was the one that caused it. I don't know if they, if they say he both sacked him and then he fumbled on it. I don't know how they rule that. The defense is working though. Now, just barely watched it. Four steps down. Four steps down. Four really steps down. Four 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 To throw again on second down. Burrow. That's complete to Tony. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And Burrow going to throw again. Over the middle to Smith. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Steps away to his left. Oh, to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Whenever you see a quarterback break contained, just think to yourself, the receivers on that side of the field, their number one job, make sure they get in his sight line so he can try and find someone downfield. Guys on the backside, make sure you don't give up the deep ball. They tried it there. They weren't able to connect. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Now it's Burrow. And this is incomplete. Simi Fehoko, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Hands it off out of the gun. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. A great effort there.
The drive will begin with a run by Edwards Hilaire. He can't get him down. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Second and two. And Lance now to throw. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. From the gun, it's Lance. And he can't get rid of it. He's taking oh, there we go. Jabril Cox got it. That's half. I think he needs a loss of about so. three. The Saints on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. Someone is down. Now Lance. One, both on options. Like. Going underneath and over and the top at the same time. Guess I'm running pass. That was a good possession, though. I should be able to score again here. First down. Here's Burrow. Complete. Smith. Oh, I thought he missed. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the 36, Burrow will oh, set up a screen for Dillon. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for not on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They don't feel pretty good about it. The only people celebrating? The guys who just gave up that play. Now oh, they're in a wide a nine. Second and long following the holding penalty. From the gun, they'll try to run it. He takes this for three to the 29. The Falcons on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. That's and it. he's caught by Lane. And he'll be taken midfield. down, but not before they work it across midfield. 24. Second quarter action. Two Division minutes to go round. on divisional round weekend. We remind you as we've done Best all got year, a blue coming up at still. halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. And he's Around got this yards. down to the 35. 140 yards rushing for him now as he has been strong here in the first half of this divisional round matchup. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. They will throw on first down with Burrow. And this one quickly to Lamb. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Here's Burrow. Buying time to his left. <laughs> and behind he'll protect you, himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty right. decent yardage. Run the clock down a little bit. Or the at least run it right gets here. Him six and it'll be second down. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's first. able to get it down to the two-yard no line. A chance to really cap off a big first half here yeah, as they like come no up on first and right over, I mean, they got linebackers, but not right over the middle. This was stupid. They'll try to run this one in. Uh, and he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Maybe they're thinking because of the time or how close it was, you know, just to the... The end right there that, that I, I wouldn't have time. I'd have to throw it, you know. I, I clearly didn't. Right, so they might go to the end. Throwing on first down is Lance. It's taken off already. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Here's second and 10. Use your brills so if we can get a sack. He runs again. Not wanting to take point. a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. So we've come upon an abbreviated halftime show as we get.
Pitts now on first down. There we go. He's just like Jabril. He's going to be taken down. Jabril Cox in to drop him behind the line for a loss of a yard. After the sack on first down, Lance. We threw a digs. Digs like dove around him. I think that. We caught it with the other player too. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Shotgun now for Lance. And this will not get close to the first. He's got eight carries. not counting all the times he got sacked. He tried to run it. Only able to get back a yard. Continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Meanwhile, Burroughs throw there, taken in by Smith. So, first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. With the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. 47 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a handoff to Dillon. Stops short of the 25, but that second effort got him a couple extra. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it I didn't think that was his first four. carry. Thought he already ran it a few times. Thought it just been catches. They run once more with Dillon. Oh, he's not through that. He's past him. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now play at here. their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Well, this is caught. And the Falcons are going to have caught, a first and goal. Oh, he had the, the touchdown. Yard line. Yeah, they may have a CD. I don't know. Let's see. Might just throw this away. We'll see if they get over there. Now it's Burrow. Oh, they're just Looking wide open. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. Let's give it the best he's again. not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow he did hurry. Incomplete. Yeah. What happened? And he'll take it into the end zone. Yes. Three or four. Atlanta. A three yard. Here's Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And boy, showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. Can't tackle him. He's, he's breaking it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Had him for one yard, two times in a row. Sometimes it's hard to believe. Close to it, anyway. There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has that the game you expected? But Almost that run there, that make it run the ball. I was just going to say, maybe that's the end of the game. Juice, because you're right, he struggled. Under respect the counter, though. Half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game. That'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Oh, Going to air it out deep for Gronkowski. Touchdown, Saints. Rob Gronkowski, 47 yards. Burrow. And 
Burrow going to slide to the ground as he does pick up the first down. It's razzle dazzle. On first down, best. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, to the right? Side, Who think. can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for they just left it wide open. He's too fast for that. Like, okay, I can no sneaking really. I just waited just a fraction of a second, and he was stick left and turbo. His second touchdown of the night. He's probably got 100 yards now. He was around 50 before that. To throw, it's Lance. Right side, that's complete to Gronkowski. And they get it's him down, but not before he takes game. it across the 40-yard line. There's a nice pickup right there, and after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Yitor Gross Matos in there to get him. That is the sixth time that they have sacked him tonight. Another try after the first down sack. Lance. Nowhere to go here. He lost the ball. Didn't even try to. And the grab it. Why does he got to pick the ball up like that? Why? <laughs> It's been like 20 Maddens in a row that people can't just pick the ball up. They got to do something. But I, I don't know what Trey Lance was doing, just walking. He sees Formoso running at him full speed, and he's just... <laughs> he didn't embrace. Carlos Irvin could have had a touchdown. He just dove over the ball and picked it up and stood up facing out of bounds. Keep it on the ground. Best. And good running. Going to get this down close to a first at the Saints 26. 170 yards rushing for him now in the ball game as he is trying to will his guys to the championship round next weekend. Third and two. Now Burrow. Man open. It's Tony. He's got it. And he is going to have a Falcons first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on. Look, they're saying incomplete, and the, the ball is still on without hitting the ground. The pressure in this one, and oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, is the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter? And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, partner, nothing but praise from me for this offense. They have been tremendous all night long. They knew what they had to do to unlock the defense. And let's face it, this has been a master class in offensive football that we've been here to witness. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. God, it's Burrow being chased out left to the goal line, but it's incomplete. The incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. And he is into the this is his touchdown. Falcon touchdown. 
That was a weird one, but he's only a 68 overall. He should go up after this game. Throwing on first down. Lance, and he'll look underneath here for Edwards Alaire, and he'll be upended at the 28 yard line. Just a three yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Operating from the gun, Lance, and that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Throwing his Lance on third down. He'll buy some time right. He'll have oh, a first try to throw the ball inside the there. And Lance will have the first down as he's able to slide to avoid the contact there at the end of the play. Lance now on first down. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Working from the gun, Lance. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and the Falcons grab it. I'm going to be able to run with this one, but still, he picked it up like sliding his knee across the ground, which nobody would do. Luckily, there's nobody there to tag him down. He'll be on the ground for like five yards. and 10 here's Lance and he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage from the 30 on second down Lance eluding the pressure right and they'll take him down at the 31 yard line all that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short game when he took off running. Boy, he almost did that himself, but it looks like he's about a foot or two short. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own. Simulate the rest of the game it should, it should end it without them getting the ball back. And they're moving on to the conference championship. How about this? What a tremendous feeling to get to the game that can get you to the Super Bowl. A fantastic season. Unfortunately for the other team, a tough, tough way for it to end. Trey Lance had to get hit like 25 times. So that'll do it for us for Charles Davis play. and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL. both of them great, so hopefully Jabril got his uh, breakout game. So he's only a 67 now. A plus three awareness, that sucks. Season stats too, if it'll let me. I played, I played the first 11 games, and then I didn't play after that. Burrow had 30 and 11, 
4,200 yards. That's pretty good. Mostert led the team. I didn't mean for him to be the starter. I meant for AJ Dillon too. That kind of sucked because, but he still got a lot of carries. Dillon had 14 touchdowns. Best got 556 and 11 touchdowns. He could have had a lot more too. But that's because I, I, after I signed him, I think it redid the depth chart and then it put him first. So the games I played, he didn't get as many stats. I was using him a little bit, but then after that, he started like the last six or seven games by himself. Lamb had a good season. I think the slot receiver gets extra yards when you send him out. I'm not sure if that's still the case, but I signed Noel Gray at the beginning of the year. That's pretty good. He was a low overall, but he's fast. He's like 70-something now. Parsons had the best season, 16 and a half sacks. Los Matos had 12 and a half. A lot of tackles too. 19 tackles for loss. They probably count the sacks as TFLs, I think. Diggs had eight interceptions. Warren had seven. He got to play his rookie year on this because of pre-existing injuries were on. I didn't mean for that to be the case, but he had seven basically his first year playing. Four, four. Trail had three. He's got a 99 main covers now though. So he must have been getting something. game will be some see the Seahawks. I don't know who they have. Jabril got two upgrades too, so we'll see what these are. So he got five thousand experience points, but he was only sixty seven overall still. That's why he got two extra uh, upgrades at once. The eighty nine speed linebacker, that's always a good to user.